Finley's riding to Buckley's with me. She's a good helper. She's a mama's good helper. She says she won't take groceries to help them people. Yeah, her tummy's full. She said, my tummy's full and I want everybody else to be full and happy and sleep good like me. She's a good baby, y'all. He is my number one buddy. She's a mama's number one buddy. Well, I know y'all want to see up my nose and down my throat and all that stuff, don't y'all? <laughs> gosh. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Hey, it's real life, real life with me. No, no fancy editing or nothing here. Just, uh. Just the real deal. Y'all get the real deal. Good evening, everybody. The sun's going down behind me. Y'all can probably tell from the way the light is on the road. Thank goodness I'm not driving towards it. Me and Brindley's taking another load of stuff to Buckley's Food Pantry. We just thought y'all might want to hop in, go with us, chat a little bit. We've had a busy day today. Me and her both is tired, but um, after we do this, we're going to go home and uh, walk at least a mile. And then we'll be ready to go to bed. I'm sure. I always wipe her down and clean her face. Keep her from sneezing. And then I'll shower and probably hop in the bed. We've had a good day. It's been busy. That's how I like it. was food pantry day, so I had cleaned some of my more stuff out of my pantry. And I'm going to take it down here and put it in the box. Unless somebody's put something in there in the last few hours, it was empty when I went by earlier. I have some more canned stuff, some box shelf milk, a few boxes of cereal, three jars of peanut butter, uh, chili, corn, I don't know, carrots, mixed vegetables, uh, some green vegetables. It's a lot of stuff, y'all. I'm not stingy with what I get. If I don't give it to somebody personally, I bring it down here. has a can or two here or there you know before it expires bring it down here and put it inside well there's no homeless people over here sometimes there's homeless people hanging out I'm telling you in this heat lordy I guess they adjust okay I'm gonna pull right up here get this stuff out. Some of the canned stuff is in there. My horn's gonna go off because I'm gonna leave the car running because Brinley's well, maybe I'll just leave the door open. If I shut that door over there, it would make the horn honk.
broke, y'all. It's going to take me a second to get all this can stuff. My bag was too heavy. potatoes, mixed vegetables, three jars of peanut butter, cornbread, uh, some dessert stuff, oatmeal, salmon, tuna, um, pasta sauce, soup, different kinds of soup. Uh, Y'all, it's a lot of stuff. And I think I said the boxed uh, the shelf milk. I always bring that down here. I didn't have any juice this time. I usually try to bring juice and stuff because I know this oh, in this weather, especially these people on the street, they need something to drink. Anyway, we're headed back home. I left the water sprinkler going. I set a timer on my phone. Been moving the water sprinkler around. And uh, we'll get back in hopefully plenty of time. Okay, that's only been, I don't know, close to eight minutes. So we'll be back home in five minutes or less. It's less than two miles from the top of this hill, maybe a mile and a half to my house. So when I left, I set the timer for 20 minutes on the water sprinkler. Y'all, we need some more rain. Ooh, last month my water bill was okay, but this coming month, I'm scared to even see what it's gonna be. All I do late in the evening and early in the morning is set a timer and move the water sprinkler. And then I still have some I have to water my hand, some containers and stuff. And I don't have near what I used to have, and I may. I've been thinking about it seriously the last few weeks. Taking some of this up and moving it in other beds so I'll have even less to water because it's just, when it's this hot and dry, it's just too much. I ain't no spraying chicken no more. And we're going to the setting sun, so I'm going to end this video. And isn't that pretty? I don't know if y'all can see. Well, I'm sure y'all can't see that unless something's wrong with you. Um, love y'all. Thanks for riding with me. Be blessed. Don't forget to say your prayers. Take care of your health. Go for a walk. Me and Brindley just to go for our walk. I live just on the other side of that overpass, so we're almost home.